Hi guys, it's Marlena. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are building a $15,000 two-story modern Bloxburg house. So let's get right into building. As always, feel free to build along and wait until the end of the video to check out the full tour and let me know your thoughts on this build. Okay, so this is the second floor and this is the first floor. So don't worry about placing layouts. I just placed them so you can see where we're going to place the walls. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to place two walls right here and we're going to color it white with these bricks and copy that wall, place it back here and then you're good. Now you can grab another wall and place it on this line and you're gonna color that white with these horizontal planks. And once you place that, copy it and place around the remainder of the layout. So I say this a lot, but if you color the walls and then copy them once they're colored and then place them, you're gonna save so much more money that way. So that's a little trick. Now we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna place the white horizontal plank walls <laughs> upstairs so all around just like this and this build will have four bedrooms and four bathrooms and of course a living room kitchen dining area all that stuff so i'll place the interior walls for now just in case you guys want that so we'll do that right now so this is going to be like one bathroom another bathroom two bedrooms and another bedroom and then this is where the stairs will be this is going to be where the stairs are going to start from so this is going to be the living room, the garage, the kitchen, dining area, oops, <laughs> and then bedroom, bathroom, and I think I want to make this like an office, not sure. So this is what we have so far. So let's go work on the roof. So we're going to start on the bottom floor and we're going to use the gable roof and we're going to place it right here for this little office or whatever room that's going to be. <laughs> and we're just going to resize it to our liking. So sometimes I like to raise it up a bit just like that we're gonna color it dark stone gray with this metal roof and then we're just gonna color this the same as the wall color with the bricks and for the ceiling i'll just do like concrete and white so i'm going to copy this gable roof and i'm going to go upstairs to the second floor and i'm going to place it here and all we have to do is just adjust the roof a bit and then we have to just recolor it so it matches the wall color you can copy that roof and place it right here like this and this time, I guarantee you guys, we're not going to forget the roof because a lot of times I forget to place my roof. I don't know why. I always miss a part of my roof and then I'm like in my house and there's like sun beaming through my ceiling and I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, so we're not going to do that today. Anyway, we're just going to place the gable roof once again back here like this. And then we're going to do it again right over here, just like that to cover that portion of the ceiling or roof, whatever. And you can bring it down a bit like that. And now I'm going to go back here. And we're going to use the flat roof. Here's another little hack. If you use the flat roof to cover any empty spaces like this, you're going to save so much more money. Definitely suggest doing that. So just cover these little holes in your roof. <laughs> you don't want rain falling through your roof, so that wouldn't be fun. So now we're going to go back downstairs. So now we're going to grab the slanted roof and we're going to place it starting right over here and all the way over the garage. So we're going to cover the patio and the garage at one time. And then once again, just bring it up a bit to your liking. I'd say like, I guess right here and then color it the same as the rest of the roof. And there we go. Now we're gonna place the windows. So we're gonna start by placing two panel windows right here. I'm gonna color it dark stone gray and I'll give it like a seashell hue. So once you have painted that, copy it over and then just center them. Next, we're gonna grab a small sunset window and we're gonna place two of these upstairs on this wall, except we're gonna place one first, color it, and then copy it over once it's colored so we save the money and we're just going to center them once again like that looks pretty cool so i'm going to actually copy that sunset window once again and place three right here and then literally just center them once again so pretty simple like that i'm also going to copy a panel window and i'm going to place one right here and then one over here and then the door is going to go right there we're actually going to use this traditional door i think because i don't know i like this door so i think we're going to use it and we're just going to recolor it a bit now we're going to grab a garage door i think we're going to use this traditional wide garage door and then we're just going to color it again basically to match like the rest of the windows and the door something like that should be pretty good but i'm going to place like a patio right here so i'll place the floor down and then i'm going to color it to match with the sidewalk and then i'm going to place a garage with the same material and I'm going to make a little walkway to connect with the garage and I'll probably outline it with like a fence. I'll use a short fence, color it white, and then kind of just like outline it 
Give it some extra detail. I don't know, I kind of want to place a picket fence here. I don't know if that's going to be weird though. I don't know, that's kind of random, but I kind of like it. Maybe I'll place the picket fence going around the entire build. That might, yeah, look better maybe. And then I want to use like the small hedge because I think that looks nice. And then I'll just place around. I don't know. <laughs> We'll see if that looks good. But I like to alternate with my fences like this. Oh, you know what I wanted to add? I wanted to add a chimney. So I think I'm gonna use uh, this one right here. And then I'll go upstairs and I'll place it like right in this corner. So I think like right here should be fine. Actually, I think I'm gonna color it dark stone gray with like white, like that. And I'll just like move it over a bit like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, so now here's the fun part. We're gonna garden. So I'm gonna grab this spiral hedge and I think I'm gonna place one right here. And then I'm gonna place one in the other corner right here. So like that. I don't know why. I like these. I think they look kind of cool. I'll also grab my flower bushes because you guys know how obsessed I am with these. <laughs> and now I'll just place some like grass and everything around. Should we place a pond? Like a water thing? <laughs> should we place like a pond? I don't know if we should do that. I mean, we have enough money. We're still on budget because this is supposed to be a $20,000 home. I don't think I mentioned that at all throughout this build. Sorry about that. I'll make sure to put that in my intro because yeah, I should mention that. Let's see. Would that look weird? Like just two blocks of water? Would that look strange? Probably, but I think I'm going to leave it. Maybe I'll just go like that and then I could kind of like outline it with these rocks so it's not like a square pond because that's definitely not normal. So let me see. Let's like outline this. Let's make it round, not a square pond. It's kind of bizarre. Yeah, so kind of like that. Yeah, that should be a lot better. I'm gonna go downstairs and use the basement game pass to just place a wall here and then color it the same as the grass just so it looks like natural and then you can't really like notice it. Okay, that doesn't look as bad, I guess. So we do need more flowers though because I have like none at all and I love to place flowers so we'll do wall trim yeah we should place wall trim before we do that let me grab a tree see this organic tree i love this tree it's so cool so realistic kind of i don't know it looks better than like these square trees i don't know what that is a bunch of squares in a tree like that's kind of weird might place it back here because i hate having like empty space and maybe i'll place another spiral hedge thing and then just a few more plants and then we're good i am probably going to place like a few stepping stones right here like this rectangular stepping stone and then i'm gonna color it white with the stone material or brick material and then i'm gonna place a few and then just space them out it looks kind of cool add some more detail and i'll just place a few stepping stones going up to the door and i think i'll use the same bricks again just like that so now we're gonna grab some wall trim so we're gonna use this short rail molding and i know i should have done this like before i'm sorry <laughs> so we're gonna place it right here color it i think we're gonna use gray and then white with the bricks so yeah and now we can just place that basically right there that's really it next i want to add a molding kind of thing to go along the top like this so like that okay so i possibly just had a genius idea so i was thinking what if i took this paneling thing and i placed it right here instead of this wall trim and then i colored it all white with the solid material okay so then i delete this wall trim and then i place it right here on the walls in the back I think that would look kind of cool. Like, doesn't that add more detail? I think that looks cool. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. I kind of like that. I am gonna grab two lamps to place. So I'm gonna use this lamp again. Where is it? Oh, this is new? Oh, that's cool. This lamp. We're gonna use this classic outdoor lamp. And I'll just place one on both sides. Okay, and then we'll place it on this side like that. Get some light so you can see where we're driving and we don't crash into the tree. And then I think I'm gonna place it up here as well. I think I might go upstairs and go to structural and grab a... Theme. and then i think i'm gonna place it like this and make some like design i think i'll use white and then i'll just make a little design thing so i think i'll do that and then i'll do the same thing on this side okay i'm sorry i have to i'm gonna grab a planter and i'm placing a sunflower in this corner because they're just so pretty and i love them oh that makes it so much better look at that brightens up the whole build look at that like that's beautiful okay so i think with all of that we should be good to tour and check it out so let's go do that so the total value of this house is about 15 to 16 thousand dollars so it's pretty affordable so this is it this is what it looks like i think it's actually really cool i really like this build i was inspired by a build that i saw on pinterest a real life house that i found so yeah i thought it'd be cool to build it in blocksburg and i think it turned out pretty nice so yeah 
please let me know your thoughts on this build in the comments below let me know how you think i did and also let me know if you guys would like to see an interior i would definitely make that if you would like to see one with the four bedrooms and four bathrooms kitchen living room dining area and office area which will probably be over there so let me know if you guys would like to see that because i will get that out for you all and yeah this is pretty cool i think i like the windows i like the colors i like the sunflower <laughs> i like the little pond thing and i like this thing that i have going on over here this hedge thing i don't know the fireplace i mean the chimney is cool yeah so it's all pretty cool i think <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys